Authorities in Kamara district have arrested a runner national for allegedly operating an illegal soft drinks factory, disregarding sanitation and hygiene, and forging the Uganda National Bureau of Standards stamp. Suspect who was identified as Jean Dode Mbonimpa, a resident of Nyagatale district in the northeast of Rwanda, was found producing a soft drink called in Chamanamela Parish of Chamanamela Sub County, Kavari District. The Kavali Resident District Commissioner Godfrey Nyakauma says that the suspect was found operating without a working permit, certificate from National Environment Management Authority NEMA, certificate from Public Health, and had a forged certificate from Uganda National Bureau of Standards, UNBS, which he said puts the lives of the consumers at risk. The operation to arrest the suspect was headed by the District Internal Security Officer, Sir Robin Mutawazi, the Kavali District Senior Environment Officer, Eva Sasimwe, the Kigese Region Police Environment Protection Officer Sam Chumkama and the Assistant District Health Officer in charge of Environmental Health Oliver Namanya. Nyakahuma accuses the suspect of picking bottles he was using from garbage skips, forging a UNBS stamp, illegal entry into Uganda, failure to get our permit, and also not getting clearance from the Health Department. He also accuses Monipa of misleading the public that his drink helps to cure ulcers, liver cancer, leukemia, cough, and increases libido. He represents Nema here in the district, and the, the health inspector for the district to move to the ground to find out exactly. Uh, how this man is packing these drinks here. And upon reaching there, they have found a lot of irregularities. The man forging UNBS stamp, the man operate, operating without, uh, without uh, securing the environment uh, social impact assessment, uh, he did not have any clearance from the public uh, health department. He doesn't have work permit allowing him to operate in Uganda. Uh, you have found, they have found his workers in a very, very dirty condition and many others. So uh, for purposes of protecting the lives of our people from such uh, people who are, who are just doing business without following the law, without following, uh, without actually examining whether they are using proper mixtures of, 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 of these drinks just to come and, 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 and kill our people. Our people out there, they should avoid taking these drinks they call them that they enhance uh, sexual, they call them sexual enhancement. <laughs> that upon taking this, that's what the man has written there. That upon taking this, men who are weak in bed it will enhance their sexual uh, libido. So, uh, and, how they have been, and that's how they have been uh, deceiving people out there. And in the process, people, people die. You must have remembered, you must remember people who died in West Nile, who were, drink, who were taking beers, I think. They were Waraji. 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 People died in the same way. So we are, happy, we are lucky that our internal, uh, our internal security organization detected it early before causing loss of lives of our people. This one, uh, we're going to we are going to inform the, the UNBS to come up and, uh, and carry out operation like any other, like any other um, agencies do to find out whether these, uh, these drinks that are sold in the market are, are done in line with, the, are cleared by the UNBS. 
Because with us, we will see NBA scans and yet uh, stamps and yet they are, they are forged. You see? So, <laughs> so I think we have to put it, we have to, put it to our UNBS also to come out in the field to check whether these. Well, uh, I don't want to enter into the area of police investigations because we're handing over this man to police, to our district CID here. Uh, to commence investigations, and it is through the investigations that will guide uh, the prosecution in this particular case. Well, actually, before uh, I hand over to the district CID, I want to to thank our district internal security officer for doing a very, very good work of detecting that there is a person. Who, in, who illegally entered into the country, started the business of beverages, packing drinks without proper license, without following due process of the law, and which drinks are poisonous to our people. For insisting and uh, inviting stakeholders, the district the Kavali District Assistant Health Officer in charge of environment, Oliver Namanya, says that the drink was being produced under deplorable conditions and by unhygienic people, which puts the lives of the people at risk of contracting diseases like, like diarrhea diseases, cancers, and other abnormal consequences. The Kavali District Senior Environment Officer, Eva Sasime, also says that the suspect was doing business without approvals from NEMBA and the Public Act. Alvan Bonimpa, who is age 29, claimed that he started the business last month after getting an operating license from China Municipal County officials, which the RDC Nyakahuma refuted, saying that it should be revoked immediately. At the time of his arrest, Bonimpa claimed that he had produced over 200 cartons of Malishali soft drinks. When asked about the ingredients of his soft drink, Malishali, Bonikawa said that he mixes honey, ginger, rosemary, citric acid, tea of culture, and sodium benzoid. The suspect, who is now being detained at Kawa District Police Station, is said to have been supplying the drinks to the areas of Barora, Ntungamo, Kawa, Chisoro, Ruchiga, and Rukunji, among others. Yes, Yeah. Uh -huh. 